Hello, this is Daryl Webster from Modern Workplace Change. I've noticed that our new experience of sharing files within Teams has arrived. And I'm over here in a private meeting with Nesta and Deborah. So I'm gonna upload a file to the chat and we're gonna collaborate on that document. Use the attachment button, upload the file from my computer. Find a demo document. And we'll choose a Word document like a user guide. That's a good one to co-author. All right, so as I have up chosen to upload it, it has been uploaded into the meeting. And what happens in the background, because I'm in a private meeting, it has been uploaded to my OneDrive, and then I get to choose how I will share this with Deborah and Nesta. Now, what's new? When we click on the drop-down box here, I can adjust the type of link that I'm creating. And this is just like we can do within OneDrive and SharePoint. Now I've got the options there of anyone with the link, people in my organization, uh, people with existing access and specific people. But there is a new option here called people currently in this chat, which means that I can share it very quickly with the people who are currently in this chat, in this meeting. Before I choose that option, we'll see the other options we would normally see. We can choose whether we can allow the people to edit this document using the link. We can make them go straight through to a review mode so that they're only going to look at the document and pass comments and um, help me to co-author it that way. There's expiry date and set password. So that shows that the document has been uploaded to my OneDrive. We'll have a look at that in a little while, but we'll choose the option people currently in this chat and we'll leave it as allowing edit and apply. So it's creating that sharing link now, and it gives me a little warning there to say that if someone else joins the chat, then I need to share the document with them too, because at the moment, it is just being shared with Deborah and Nesta. We'll send that through to the chat so that we can start co-authoring. Now let's have a look at Nesta's experience. Okay, so Nesta has seen in the chat there it is, the document that has been shared with him, and he'll open that up. Now because we're in Teams and we're opening it up, we get to see the conversation pane open on the right hand side so we can continue to type in chat. Uh, but it is opening up now within the uh, Teams experience and I'll be able to edit that document. It'll go through to editing mode. So we can see up at the top that it is in, in the editing mode, so that's great. Now, just before we finish this off, I want to show you where that document has ended up and we'll just take a quick look at those permissions. So we'll go over to Megan's OneDrive. Uh, now Megan is the person who uploaded the document and whenever you share a document into a private meeting, it has been uploaded to your OneDrive into a folder called Microsoft Teams Chat Files. So let's have a look. And there we go, there's the user guide that has been uploaded. And who is it shared with? Have a look at the sharing permissions. It has been shared with Deborah and with Nesta and of course myself. And we have permission to edit that document. So there's a few options there for being able to customize that link and make sure that you're giving the right permissions to people, the permissions that you intend to share them with. Uh, there's a quick option there for choosing to share it with people in the chat, but keep in mind that if you are, if someone else joins that chat, then you will have to share that document with them too. So that's all I've got for now. Um, look, if you enjoy this content and you know where to find me, you know what to do. We'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.